There, now you're there. My not home. Okay, tell them today we're making coffee. I'm making pink paint. Welcome to Review Fools. She wants to make pancakes today. However, we're taking a look at Kicking Horse Coffee. My name was the main name was the main pancake home. Pancakes are done. We're just working on the coffee part. So while in Nova Scotia, we visited a nice cafe in Mahone Bay who served Kicking Horse Coffee. I said when we came back to Alberta, I've got to find the coffee. So we were going through Sobeys the other day and my husband yeah, pointed out no, 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 no. My husband pointed out that it was right there. We got the Grizzly Claw rich dark chocolate and decadent kind of ground coffee. And what's great about this, this organic Arabia coffee is grown in the shade of rainforest canopy, conditions which offer superior quality and maintain a natural, healthy, and balanced ecosystem for birds and planets. Birds and plants, not planets. For birds and plants. <laughs> it's early in the fucking morning. And what I love about it on the back here, in clear view, you don't have to go searching for it, is the expiration date. While we're at it, let's see. Yeah, 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 Mom. Whoa. While we're yeah, right, Mom. Whoa. While we're at it, let's get into the legend of this coffee. In 1858, an expedition journeyed through the Rocky Mountains towards the Kicking Horse Valley. During a river crossing, a pack horse kicked James Hector so hard that others mistook him for dead as they began to bury poor old James. Mommy, mommy, mommy. They noticed his eye twitch. The legend says it was a stiff cup of kick-ass coffee that That's brought him back to life. Uh-huh. That's right, Mom. And all I have to do is put this baby in an easy way coffee maker. So with your hot water, you just pour it into the top of the easy pre-made filter here, and you let it drip down into your coffee mug. It's that simple. <laughs> they did again. So with uh, the water all filtered through my filter, I've got mm -hmm. actually the right amount of water in there for once, and uh, I'm just going to add a little milk and see how it tastes and tell you what I think. So the results are in. After one cup of coffee, I'm now on my second, and I've got to say, it does have a bold flavor, a rich flavor. So I'm going to give this coffee five stars, even though I didn't use sugar. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos coming your way very soon about I don't know what. <laughs>